Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. I was doing some some reading last night on biophotonic uh, communication amongst paramecia and various um, uh, vegetative cells like onion cells uh, and how it influences um, the growth and um, reproduction of cells and I came upon uh, in some interesting uh, similar thoughts uh, that had to do with the semipermeable membrane of the brain that theoretically keeps uh, microorganisms out of the brain and uh, which may be damaged in diseases such as AIDS and Alzheimer's, two very different diseases. Uh, and they, they've actually come up with some brain samples that um, would suggest that uh, there are microorganisms that get into this, such as, for instance, bacteria or yeast that might get into the brain and cause these diseases because the semipermeable membrane uh, is barrier is like damaged in the in the disease or like that. Um, just my thought was that these microorganisms can be controlled through the appropriate pH that's 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 uh, in the blood in the, and in the body that's not uh, uh, supporting their life in the body. So my suggestion for further um, cures that might be implemented for both Alzheimer's and uh, AIDS is to look into the pH that would be hostile or that would limit the reproductive cycles or the flourishing of the life of um, microorganisms that inhabit, say, the gut so that they wouldn't wreak this kind of damage on the brain in the case of... And then we need to look into the semi-permeable membrane and uh, my feeling about that is that uh, there's a mineral uh, balance that needs to be maintained. Uh, to and so I would look at the type of of mineral supplements that would enhance the performance of the semipermeable membrane of the brain. So there's that.